الطالب علي مشتاق طالب ثانوية المتميزين للبنين Introduction the law of conservation of mass The law of mass conservation which answered the question of what happens to the substance during its chemical reaction Can it be destroyed or created? Is the mass of the reacting substance different from the mass of the material resulting from the reaction or is it equal? The French scientist Lavoisier, in which we can see him in the picture, did the oxidation of tin in a closed receptacle. He found out that the mass of the closed receptacle remained unchanged because a chemical reaction was made between tin and oxygen and new molecules were formed of tin oxide too. Since the mass of the atom does not depend on the nature of the other atoms which it unites with, it is axiomatic that all oxygen and tin atoms involved in the chemical reaction maintain the mass unchanged. Lavoisier proved through his experiences that the mass of the material cannot be destroyed or created during the chemical reaction. The Arab scientist Abu Qasim al Madridi, who was born in 950 and died at 1007, is considered the first to prove the validity of this law. He noticed when heating a weighted amount of elements mercury into a fine red powder without a change in the total mass of the reactants within the vessel. In order to prove that the results support the law of conservation of mass, the mass reactants has to equal the mass of the products from the reaction. For example, 73 grams of HCl gas was passed into a solution containing 158 grams of sodium thiosulfate Na2S3O3, 5H2O as a result, 117 grams of table salt, 64 grams of SO2 gas, 32 grams of sulfur and 18 grams of water has been produced. Prove that the results support the law of conservation mass. The answer. The total mass of the reactants, which equals 158 plus 73, equals 231 grams. The total mass of the product equals 117 plus 64 plus 32 plus 18, equals 231. As the total mass of the product is equal to the mass reactants, this reaction follows the law of conservation of mass. Here we have another example which is quite different to the other one. And here it says, two carbon dioxide samples were obtained from the two different sources. They were dissociated into components. The first sample contained 4.8 grams of oxygen and 1.8 grams of carbon, while the other sample contained 17.1 of oxygen and 6.4 grams of carbon. Show that these results correspond to the law of constant compositions. In the previous example, we did addition through the samples, but in this one, we're going to do division. So the answer is 4.8 divided by 1.8 equals 2.7. But in the second sample, ratio O to C mass ratio equals 17.1 divided by 6.4, which equals 2.7. As you can see, both since the since the ratio is the same for both of these samples, this means that these results follow the law of mass conservation. In the law of mass conservation, there's two types of answers. We look at the samples and we see what number or what we have to do in order for these numbers to equal. If we rather have to add them or divide them, and thank you for listening.